the last school trip I went on when I was in 6th grade in Maharashtra and we went to Mumbai for one day. But guys, the day has come when I finally go to a full-fledged three days, two nights trip with my friends. Hey guys, it's Aditi and watch me have fun in Jim Corbett. 16th March, my 11th finals got over and me and my family shifted to my hometown Noida with my grandparents. It was indeed very tedious but we finally did it. My brother was also going to his college after he came to visit us for a few days and so I tried spending as much as time I could with him. And yes, of course I had to change my school even though I miss my old pals, the fun, the bonding. I came to my new school, class 12 started, I made new friends, had fun but we kept studying, studying and studying. At one point we all needed a mental detox and my school announced the trip. Oh my god, it's so awkward! Alright, so I'm back from school. Guess what? We're going on a trip! By the way, this is my house in Noida and we have shifted Noida. It's a two night, three day stay. Alright, so I'm gonna sum it up. I shifted to Noida, I'm in grade 12. Um, this is the last school year of my life, which is unbelievable. And I cannot digest the fact that I'm in class 12. So. Hi guys, I am going to coaching. Today I'm also getting my haircut done. Hopefully, I'll get it done today. So, here is the haircut. I absolutely love it. We started packing for the trip. I also made a list of all the essentials that I need to take so that I don't miss out on anything. And honestly, I should have taken more clothes with me because we did so many activities plus the weather was super duper hot so we got all sweaty and eventually ran out of clothes and I also should have taken an extra pair of shoes but it's alright we learn from our mistakes and thanks to my mom I had no other issues whatsoever. Done and I just have to close the bags and keep them. Good morning, guys. I'm refreshed. I don't know why this is not supposed to happen, but I'm refreshed. Definition of comfort clothes. The reporting time in the morning was around 5 a.m. and it also started to rain slightly. When I was in the car, my mom was telling me to enjoy and not to worry around here since this is the first time that I'm staying away from the home and honestly, I was a little scared and nervous but since it's a trip and it's the last trip, so I was very excited too. We reached the school in time and at around 5.45, we left for the trip. Let's go. This world can hurt you. <laughs> 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 We 
stopped to eat breakfast at around 8 and i was honestly not tired at all since we were just singing and dancing in the bus all along which was quite fun and that's the breakfast that i had it was delicious so guys we just ate food i am so excited for this trip we're just boarding the bus now let's go hearing stories from our teachers was one of the best moments of this trip the journey was about 6 7 hours and as close as we got we could start seeing the jungles which made us even more curious and excited and they made us sit in a safari to reach our camps slash resort it was hot but there was this cold breeze that i really miss and this was the view it was so peaceful and relaxing After this video I have no other clips on my phone but the videos that the teachers made for us in the evening we went to this activity which was the zip lining and it was so fun I was scared but Basically in this game we had small items thrown on the ground and the pullers had to pull the navigators had to locate the items obviously so that the hangman could pick them up and after picking those items up he had to put them in the basket or in the bucket and our points were calculated we fought so much over the points and itni zyada ladai ho gayi matlab we just gave up ki theek hai yaar jeette to jeet rahe nahi to let it go and it was really fun it taught us teamwork and it was a bonding time also for all of us so yeah it was fun it was great after this activity we got some time and went to our rooms to change for water sports which was one of my favorite activities students what are you doing we are doing we are building a raft which is sustainable and we'll be testing it on the pool Are you going to win this activity? Yes, for sure. And we lost in this activity. I don't know why. I mean, I even did nothing. I think the raft was not built properly. It was sinking again and again. We had to balance it from the four sides. We couldn't get the paddles to move. But I tried my best by swinging my hands in the water. I mean, does that help? But yeah, we did win this from a few seconds. But we tried our best, and that's what matters. And we had fun. So great. The second activity got over and we jumped straight away in the pool. We were playing this game by passing on the ball. This was fun and we swam for about 30 to 40 minutes and then they pulled us out for the next water activity which was floating in a water canal which was apparently made by the Britishers to separate out the water for the villagers and it was so peaceful. The sun was shining bright and the water was cold. And lastly, the showdown DJ night. The night was awesome and my throat was seriously gone I couldn't even speak my voice was rashy but we had our dinner and sat on the grounds till 12 am the next day in the morning we went to trek in the further jungles I also picked some rock you need what need what या 
ate our breakfast we were told that we will head out in an hour or so and we had to gather in the grounds we sang our school song in the grounds we make the world a better place a better बंदर दिखे बस हमें बस हमें बंदर दिखे और बंदर के अलावा कुछ नहीं दिखो After a few hours of sleeping continuously in the bus we stopped for eating lunch at the same place that we had our breakfast earlier and obviously we did dumb things like this in the bus and it was quite fun and we kept on doing this until we reached the school and after a fun journey we finally reached the school and i'll catch you guys soon in my next video